Exactly how much of a priority is Africa for the United States? Because at this particular point, U.S.-Africa policy remains rather unclear and rather cloudy. While U.S. President Donald Trump stands on Africa will be under scrutiny when he meets Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta. Security and trade are likely to top the agenda, with Kenya expected to push for an increase in exports under the AGOA trade program, which grants sub-Saharan African products duty-free access to U.S. markets. President Kenyatta is only the third African head of state whom Donald Trump has met since taking office last year. The American leader has been criticized for not having a clear foreign, Afri foreign policy on Africa. Kenya's ambassador to the United States, Robinson Jeru Githai, says America is keen to explore mutual trade benefits with Africa. Now America is looking towards Africa. So it's not us who look to the east. It is America that turned in North Africa. And I've, I've said that to them uh, several times. Yeah, and they are admitted uh, that they, they are not uh, looked to Africa as, 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 as a trade partner. But now they are. Yeah? And you can see from the number of companies that have set up base in Nairobi. You know? And we want even more of them to set up base in Nairobi. Well, let's hear more now from Dr. Francis Onditi. He's an international relations expert. Dr. Onditi, thank you for joining us on the link. Now, President Kenyatta is only the third African head of state to be invited mm. to the U.S. by uh, Donald Trump. At this point, of course, we are wondering, what are you reading from this slow pace of U.S.-Africa policy? Yeah, it, it is normal. I mean, for the Republican, um, you know, a regime to, uh, to behave in, in this manner, uh, it's not very common for them. You remember when um, uh, Donald Trump was campaigning, uh, he was looking uh, domestic, you know, inward-looking policy as opposed to, uh, you know, really solidifying, uh, you know, African uh, policy. Uh, so it, it's very common, but there are quite a number of developments that might compel the U.S. White House uh, to start rethinking really about their foreign policy uh, to Africa. One of them, obviously, is the, the trade competition that we, we continue to see with the China, but also um, their interest to protect their citizens in Africa, in the Horn of Africa, so, uh, and, and the fight against uh, terrorism uh, you know, in Africa, whether it's in West Africa, East Africa, or in Central Africa. So we, combining these two um, uh, pillars, you know, the peace and security uh, economic pillar, when you put them together, it, it is almost inevitable that uh, likely to see Donald Trump and any other leader in White House focusing on Africa in years to come. Uh, President Kenyatta's trip is, is focusing on trade investment, and you've uh, rightly put out that uh, trade competition on the continent that is also making the U.S. look towards Africa, perhaps for, as an investment destination. And, of course, it is coming at the height of this mm. U.S.-China tug of war. Can Africa as a whole, though, embrace the United States at this point when the U.S. seems not to be really uh, looking at Africa as an investment opportunity? Um, many African countries, um, uh, you know, are, are, are developing uh, what we call, uh, you know, a balanced kind of, uh, you know, uh, diplomatic relations, uh, especially in these times when we've got China getting into the global system uh, very strongly. Um, you know, for example, Kenya for a long time, uh, we've been having, uh, you know, the, this what you could not call a neutral policy, but kind of a balanced act. Uh, so, yes, um, we, we are likely to see uh, the U.S., um, of course, uh, feeling competed or out-competed by, by China. Uh, so that, that, that perhaps is what will compel the two uh, powers, uh, you know, to put their acts together and find opportunities in Africa. Uh, but I find uh, maybe China might be a little bit more attractive because of their pragmatic approach to, to African uh, foreign policy as compared to the U.S., uh, which has taken, actually we would say it has taken longer uh, for White House to recognize that Africa is actually an opportunity for them to invest. But African countries will continue to play the act of balance, particularly Kenya, because uh, of the interest of U.S. in the Horn of Africa, but also the, the, the development of infrastructure that have been shown by the pragmatic uh, you know, uh, development uh, initiative. Let's by look at that China. Uh, outpacing of the United States on the continent, because now China is Africa's largest uh, trade partner and investment partner since 2009. Uh, does the United States, though, have a solution or an alternative 
for African countries, particularly Kenya, at this moment? Yeah, we, we, we've seen, uh, for example, Kenya, we've seen a growth in, uh, in trade between uh, Kenya and the U.S., um, now we are talking about uh, you know uh, you know a balance of just 115 uh, you know million. Uh, that means that Kenya is and the U.S. is actually playing a favorable trade. Um, but, but I would say this, beyond the trade, um, you know, the, the infrastructure that uh, uh, China does within the FOCAC, within the Forum for Africa, China-Africa, uh, you know, framework, it seems to be a little bit more attractive. Uh, and, and therefore, we are likely to see more and more projects right. that are leaning towards the East as opposed to the West. Um, you know, Agoa is, is an alternative, but it's seemingly uh, many countries seem not to have understood exactly how the Agoa framework may assist them uh, to boost their economic uh, gains. Very briefly, though, many say Kenya will gain very little from, uh, you know, this U.S. visit by President uh, Kenyatta. Is Kenya going to, uh, if Kenya is pushing for uh, this trade and investment issue, is Kenya likely to get much, though? Yeah, Kenya is obviously a growing, one of the gr growing, rapidly growing economy on the continent in sub-Saharan Africa. So any gain that would come either from the U.S. or from China would definitely benefit Kenya more. But the visit of President Uhuru Kenyatta, I, I think because Kenya is a pillar, you know, the strategic location of Kenya in the Horn of Africa being the best for the operation in AMISOM, uh, you know that the U.S. has really invested in AMISOM in, the, in Somalia. So Kenya remains the focal point. Uh, for the U.S. in the region, in fact, in sub-Saharan Africa. Dr. Francis yeah. Onditi, international relations expert, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you.